Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to collapse variables in Stata. In order to do so we're going to go ahead and create a data set from scratch and I've started out with a set OBS command to create 144,000 empty observations. I'm going to go ahead and use set seed here as a command and that is just to introduce you more to the concept of when you're drawing random numbers to use the set seat command so that in future iterations the same combination of random numbers is drawn. You can skip that if you like or you know if you have your own data set um, set seat is not really necessary but I, I like to introduce as many commands as I can uh, you know even when they might not be directly relevant to uh, to the process that we're doing. So here's what I'm going to do. In these 144,000 observations I'm going to create a value for the euro to the USD, to the U US dollar, and so I, I, I'm basically creating a simulated 4x uh, value for the euro, and once again I'm doing this randomly, so I'm not um, assuming that you know this is the actual distribution or the value, it's just for the sake of creating um, a mock data set you know on which we can demonstrate the use of the collapse variable. Now you looked at that variable and noticed that there wasn't any time uh, time variable. So now I've created a uh, variable here. I'm going to just call it minute, min, and underscore n. And what that's going to do is it's going to index sequentially one minute to each of the 144,000 observations. Okay, so far so good. So now let's say that we want to do one more step here. And I'm going to use the sequence command, seq, and I'm going to create a variable called day which is going to hold, which is going to repeat for, well, you know what, let me just go ahead and run this command and then I'll talk you through the code. See there's 1,440 minutes in every day. So what I did with this command is I just created days to go along with the minutes. And you're going to see why this was useful in a moment. So there are 100 days in the sample data set. And the way that I accounted for that is I knew that there were 100 days because this number of minutes equals 100 days. So that's where the t of value comes from in the sequence command. Uh, I knew that each day had to capture 1,440 individual minutes. And so that's what I said for b. And f for 1 just means we start at 1. So the first value in the data set is going to be 1 when we do that. So the reason I did all this stuff is really just to set up the next command. And by the way, before I get to that, if you uh, seq is a user written command, so you will want to say ssc install seq if you do not have it. I already have it, but I'm just showing you that you would type in this command at any point during your session before using sequence just to make sure that you have it. Okay, now let's do our collapse. I want to collapse it so that for every day in this data set, I know what the mean was of the exchange rate and I want to know what the standard deviation was based on the 1440 observations for that day. So here I'm using the collapse command followed by mean in parentheses and here I've just given the name to what I want the mean variable to be which is just mean and that mean is key to the euro so I'm just going to do an equal sign and EUR. Uh, next parentheses shows that I also want to capture the standard deviation the command for which is SD and I want to name that variable SD and I want it to be key to uh, the euro variable again. And finally I put a comma and by date. And that's because you know we have we have 1440 observations per day if you recall but just one observation per minute. So there's nothing to collapse for minute. It's already collapsed. But because there are 1440 values per day uh, we cannot readily tell what the mean is for example, or the standard deviation is for a day. You see what I'm saying? Because every single day has so many values in it for EUR. Um, so something that you legitimately might want to know is, okay, look, I've, I found a way to index this minute denominated data to days, and now I want to know for every day what's the mean, what's the standard deviation. Maybe you know this has use in some kind of uh, economic analysis or something of that kind. So let me post up that command again it's collapse, mean, then the name mean, then SD, 
And by the way, this all this code is on 272analytics.com, so you can go there and um, you know and, and grab it for yourself and try it out. Boom, let's do that. So now let's see what you have. Okay, so you used to have 144,000 observations, which represented minutes. Now we just have 100. So what we did is we took each of the 1,440 observations per day and we collapsed them. So we have a mean and a standard deviation based on all the values for any given day. So on day one, we took the 14, uh, 1,440 values of the euro and we just changed them uh, to this mean and then we found a standard deviation for that and we did that for all of the days in the data set. Now as you noticed the previous data that we had disappeared off the screen when we did the collapse command so what you'll want to do is save the collapse data separately. You know you'll want to go here to file save and then just give it a new name. So if this data set is called EUR you could just save it as EUR underscore collapsed or something like that or EUR underscore day just so it doesn't get confused with the master data set that you're dealing with. Uh, anyway collapse is an incredibly helpful command if you are dealing with uh, you know multiple observations and you do not know for any given observation you know what the mean might be the standard deviation. And figuring, th figuring that out in stat is so easy through the use of this collapse command. We just powered through 144,000 observations in just a couple of seconds and you know calculated the mean and the standard deviation for each day. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.